Hello there. This is Shang Un from uh, Dominations. Uh, I'm coming to show you a live war attack um, in our current war. Um, I also just wanted to show how our war is going in this current war. It's uh, we're having one of our best wars in a while. I mean, we're winning, winning, winning still, um, but. This is an extremely impressive showing, I think. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give a quick look, and uh, you guys can see how dominant our clan is. And I'm going to give a, a attempt at a high-up five-star attack as well. So, our current war we're in right now, I'll go into it to show. We are facing a American clan, um, and it's pretty fun when we're Canada versus America. I love to see that. We got Canada A versus U.S. Navy Chiefs, and we destroyed them. Um, just take a look at this. Uh, I'll go from one down. We got four stars on the number one, five on two. Four on three, five, 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 five. I can keep saying it, but you can just see for yourself. Oh, a four there on 15. That was the other target I was considering using my second attack on, but I'm going to hit way up high, I think. Go all the way down. 23, we're missing one, and 25. Now, a good point was made in clan here by somebody that um, a real strength of our alliance right now is that uh, there's opportunity there. This is 25, and it's wide open, and nobody's attacked it, or nobody's taken the five stars. And instead of just taking the easy five stars, people are trying to challenge themselves and go for the maximum possible. We're trying to, we're leaving that 25. We all, know, most of the clan knows they could easily get the five stars on it, but we're hitting our proper targets. We, we're finding something that's in our proper range, and attacking something that we think we can handle. Now, that comes to me on this attack. I We've won this war. I could just take out that 25, but why not leave it for one of my lower members that can actually get some loot out of it? Um, and I can go for a higher target, like number three. Now, I'm number six. This is a number three, so I'm hitting three above my mirror, which is, uh, you know, it's a challenge. I'm going to scout it first to show you guys how I would scout it. And we'll see how it goes. I mean, this is no guarantee. So I'll just do my best and we'll see. So I've already looked at the base. Um, looking at it, uh, it's a pretty easy entry point, I think. Um, I generally like to go through the castle, the hero castle. So if I enter close to the... Hero Castle there, then I'm going to come probably around this point right here um, and get some wall breakers in on these two walls. And what I really look at here is all of these uh, five or even six, seven, look at all the bases in sight there, all the defenses in sight there are not, there's no cannons. The cannons are all up here. Now that's key with how I, I enter through a base. I don't want to meet the cannons with my tanks or with my hero. They can just take out your heroes. So you either need to sabotage on them um, or avoid them. And I, I love to avoid them if possible. So the beauty of this base is that I can drop all my units down here to start, my ranged, get them all out there before anything even spawns. Hopefully the, the hero doesn't spawn right away. And let them take out the, the castle... Um, just naturally. Then I'm going to get them in here, all my tanks, everything in here. Um, have them in there pretty early so they're starting to bash away at all these defenses. And there's nothing single target in here really that's too dangerous. So my tanks will take away most of these defenses. And then I'm going to focus fire on that uh, base and get the town center down. And then the rest of it should be pretty clean. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using a sabotage early. Probably there'll be one sabotage used right here in the middle, middle of these two buildings and likely another one on these three buildings. But we'll see how the progress goes. I like to be much more 
um, patient with my sabotages than I used to be. I've realized that I that the battles where I do poorly are where I am overly eager on the sabotages, and I'm I've used too too quickly. So I'm going to try to be more patient with them in general. Um, we'll see how this goes. I've got a pretty good chance at five stars. I'm going to make a good effort here. Now, um, really here, I've got to make sure I've got every unit. I've got extra units because of the event going on right now, but I'd prefer not to use them. They're just great to have in your back pocket when you hit tougher bases down the line. So let's just see. I've got everything. I've got my ten, level 10 general, good mercenaries, uh, max units, um, tactics are up there. Not the greatest units in my uh, CC, but I'll take it. Okay, so scout the base, prepare for the base, have a plan, don't just go in there with nothing planned, and let's see how it goes. So it's a level seven hero, so I'm definitely gonna need to take that out really early. Uh, I'm gonna drop actually over here, get as many out as possible before I'm going to two-finger drop the musketeers, get as many out as possible, and have my finger ready on the sabotage for that castle, because I really don't want it to spawn. If I let that spawn, it's a different game. So get, the, get everything out here, get all my troops out, castle down, now a rally at the door here. At the entrance door, that's really crucial. You've got to be able, you got to be rallying at the door that you open up, the the hole in the wall. I'm going to use two sabotages here. It's not really what I planned on, but I think it'll be fine. I don't even need to re-rally on the, the town center. It's going to go down. You know what? I think I'm going to use a one of my special units here. Get them out there. And I think there, oh, not quite what I wanted. I've used all my sabotages now, so I've got a burst. Big burst here. Got to get a big burst. Got to get a big burst. Oh, that's not great. Need some big healing going on. Um, it's not bad right now. Got to get that tower down. Now, all these defenses up here are going to keep spawning if I don't get them. So I got to get up there as soon as possible. I don't want to leave them to just keep spawning over and over. It will eventually take out my units. So I'm going to uh, focus a wall right here. Focusing this wall will give me that path I need to get in there. And it'll also group up all my units, which is nice. It's going to be tough to get a five star. I've already got the three, but the four was already gotten by my clan mates. So there we go. Getting all the defenses down. Now, um, I think it looks pretty natural now. If I just leave it, I mean, the one def one defense down here is not really anything to worry about. And the one spawning building is nothing to worry about. So while my guys are up north here, just let them crush these buildings so I don't have to backtrack later. Backtracking is not something you want to be doing if you are feel pretty confident in the win. Now that I'm no guaranteed I'm not backtracking... I'm just going to rally up here because it'll speed up my progress down to the south. Look at that. Now, just down to the last uh, tower, last tower going down, we're um, going to get a full clear here for sure. A minute left. I Oh, I forgot to even use my, my uh, damage bonus here, this down in the middle on the screen on the bottom there. It's all right. Um, I probably didn't need to use the specialty units either. And there we go. We got a five star. Now that's a five star on three base levels above me, not my mirror, three above. So, and look at how many units I lost. I kept most of my units as well. So really a smooth full clear there. Um, and that just, now there's just number one, um, missing the five star. We have a good chance at a full clear. A full clear in this game is pretty impressive so uh, i'm pretty impressed with my clan canada is going to beat america which is great in my books i'm sure the americans that see this video will not like that but hey i'm canadian and i'm rooting for us um, but i love my american friends as well so um now that's it so i just wanted to show a quick live attack i'm pretty impressed with how that all went 
Um, clan's doing great. Uh, we just keep winning, keep winning, keep winning, keep winning. Um, we have pretty much uh, stable, a group that hasn't really changed much, but occasionally we have to be uh, aware of uh, activity levels and we're booting people when we need to, and that's really important. You can't be having people that are inactive. Um, and just keep on top of it. As long as you keep on top of it, we got lucky, I think, with our group. And they're all just really uh, competitive people that want to win and are quick to learn. But also, until replays are up, um, like replays are shareable, the fact that we have a clan that has uh, somebody that is posting replays on YouTube and then posting it in the clan, I think that really gives us an advantage. And if you have somebody in your clan who's consistently getting five stars, which I was long ago, um, and then they're willing to put up a replay, I think it can really help your clan. So it gives them some, the especially new members. Now our long-term members, I don't need to show them what to do. They, they're better than me, a lot of them. But for new members that come in and they go, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get five stars. Just to have a video out there explaining some tips that they can watch or even somebody else that they can link to, link them to me. Um, it should really help them to uh, get that feeling of how to do it at the beginning. I didn't know. I had to watch videos and I saw people using bombards and I realized, wow, this bombard thing really works. Um, so it took me watching other people to get better. Don't expect people to just know it automatically. So find, find videos that you trust and get them, get the people in your clan looking at them. And if they're not, they're not going to make that progress. So good luck. Uh, and I really hope that this one helps you guys. I'm glad I got to get a, a live video up there. Um, it's kind of exciting, the fact that I, I do hope they add replays, but it is exciting to do live attacks and have to show my skills uh, in reality without it just being a replay that I've picked and chosen between all my other good replays. So uh, keep on dominating, and good luck in future wars, everyone. Hope this helps. Shang'un out.